For years I've wanted to learn to make primitive pottery and I've finally taken the plunge. Here are some pots I made from local North Georgia clay and I'm going to attempt my first primitive firing. Firewood is collected and then set ablaze. Once it burns down to coals, the pots are placed next to the fire so the radiant heat will drive out the moisture still trapped in the walls. They're turned frequently to ensure even heating. As they warm up, they're gradually moved closer and closer until they can be safely placed on the embers themselves. Wood is piled around the pots and once it catches fire, a large teepee of sticks is built up so that all the pots are surrounded and eventually engulfed in flames. The fire is allowed to burn for about one hour reaching temperatures of 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the clay transforms into a ceramic. The pots will glow a dull cherry red at this stage. The fire is then allowed to burn down to coals and the pots are left to cool slowly. This can take several hours. As the fire burned down and the pots were exposed, I noticed a network of cracks on my favorite pot. Once the fire is dead and the pots are cool, it's time to check the results. Unfortunately, all the pots cracked pretty badly, but at least they held together, and that's encouraging. The ancient Mississippian potters had worked out which clay to use, what percentage of temper to add, and they knew precisely how to fire their pots. I'm on a mission to rediscover how they did it, and I plan on using local clay from near my home. The ancient potters did the same, and when I discover the magic formula, I'll post a video showing the results, so stay tuned.